Guess what? We've got some exciting news. You can now text the Minimalist Podcast your questions, 937-202-4654. We'll do our best to answer as many of your questions as possible, but even if we don't answer them on air, we might even text you back. Ryan and I both get that text. It comes right to our phones, 937-202-4654. Enjoy the show. Dark Mode wants to know, how do you overcome imposter syndrome? I think we're all imposters to an extent. I mean, it's what I mean by that is, is uh, as one of the minimalists, like I still want to buy stuff. I mean, I still have impulses. It's, you know, it's, it's, uh, I remember when we first started the website, I, I felt sometimes that like the imposter police were going to come up and be like, you're not a true minimalist. Yeah. You own, you own more than 50 things. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, ultimately if you're, if you're being congruent with, with who you are and you're being genuine, um, even acting as if someone you want to be. So, you know, I think about, I'm thir- I just turned 38 years old. I think about my 40 year old self and you know, who do I want to be at 40? And I try to act as if I am that, you know, ideal 40 year old self. I don't think I'll actually get to a hundred percent the perfect 40 year old person that I want to be but I certainly will inch closer and closer towards it. And the more you can do that, the more genuine you do start to feel. I mean, now I don't feel nearly as much of an imposter, but you know, I fly in airplanes and that bothers me. Mm-hmm. I don't know the alternatives to that. What am I going to sail on a ship to go, you know, to speak somewhere? I mean, it's, it's uh, there's not a good alternative. So yes. there, there are, <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Submarine, minimalist yeah. submarine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, mean, I think what you're, what you're talking about here uh, to a certain extent is, lowering your expectations that's why we often feel like an imposter is is we're trying to live up to everyone else's expectations by the way they're almost always conflicting expectations too right but if there are 10 different people you don't want to be an imposter toward but then they have 10 different expectations so you can lower your expectations you can raise your personal standards though and, and lowering your expectations raising your standards i think is a recipe to to live a more congruent life if you're living a more congruent life you're not going to feel like an imposter yeah i don't have much more to add i mean i feel like an imposter from time to time when i have to take on things i don't know how to do and I feel like I'm supposed to know how to do those things. The other thing that's interesting is I feel like you can feel like an imposter in the other way too, which is I used to know how to do some things that I can't do anymore because my, I've, like, those skills have atrophied because now I, I lead a company versus like before when I started, it was just me. I was making all the stuff myself. Now I, I don't do that as much. And when I have to go back to do that, I'm, I'm pretty rusty. Mm. So it's funny that you can feel like an imposter at something you used to be really good at, but you're not anymore. Just, I, I give everyone permission to feel that way. Like you yeah. don't need to not feel that way. It happens. It's fine. It's like, it, it, in some ways it's, 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 a, it's a, a good stand in for drive. I mean, the fact that, that like, if you feel like you're an imposter, you probably want to maybe be better at what you're doing and that's okay too. But like, it's, mm. It's, it's all, like you said, it's all about expectations and, and it's fine and you're going to feel that. You're never going to get rid of that. I think most people probably never do and it's totally fine. It's a natural, normal feeling to have.